Hi, I'm Deborah Ball. I will be singing A Father's Love and doing a monologue from Self Help for Dummies. When I was 12, I had to walk through this little park every day on my way home from school. And these mean kids started hanging out of the park and giving me a little bit of a hard time. They would shove me, call me names, knock my books out of my hand. So I started taking a longer way home. Well, one day, that didn't help. I, I was taking a shortcut between two paths, and there they were at the end of my path. I thought, actually thought about turning around and walking the whole way back to my old path, but I knew I'd get home so late that my mom would be mad at me, so I said to myself, no, I'm gonna go this way and maybe this time they'll leave me alone. <laughs> of course, they didn't. I got to the end of the path and they shoved me in the mud and they kicked my books all over the place and then one of them went after my charm bracelet and I tried to stop them because it was a gift from my grandma, but it broke and that was it. I sat there in the mud and covered my head and cried. And then I heard this other voice. So I look up and there's this boy standing between me and the bullies. I couldn't hear what he said over my own crying, but the next thing I know, the bullies are running the other direction and he's helping me up. And then he did the sweetest thing. He walked me the whole way home. I know it's corny, but I couldn't take my eyes off him. I mean, out of nowhere comes this boy to save me from these bullies and then walk me the whole way home to make sure I get there safely. He's like my own knight in shining armor. That's when I realized he was my one. Well, the next week at school, there was going to be a stance. So I worried all week about what I was going to wear, and my mom helped me pick out this beautiful blue dress. And then the dance comes, and I try to put my dress on, and the seam rips. So my mom had to get out the sewing machine and fix it. So I was going to be a little late, but I couldn't wait for him to see me. Because I knew when he saw me, I mean, really saw me, he'd know that I was the one for him, just like he's the one for me. He never showed. I spent the next few weeks at school trying to find out where he was, and it turns out he and his family had moved. I never found out where. But ever since then, I've had this problem. 
no matter how attractive I find a guy, once we start to get close, I panic. I mean, what if I met my one when I was 12 years old and who knows, he could walk back into my life tomorrow. But then what if he wasn't the one and, who, and what if while waiting for the wrong one, I miss the right one when he's standing right in front of me? <laughs> you at least had the chance to spend time with the person you thought was your one. You found out she wasn't, but I met the man I thought was my one and I lost him. I'll never know if I was right.